All right, first off, how we doing? Hope you're all staying safe. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy 16. Kind of a brand new day of recording for me. I say that like every two videos because that's about all I can get out of a two and a half hour session. So <laughs> anyways, love you all. If you want more of this game, just I guess whatever I can upload it. Uh, just keep on like support. I love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. I've already forgot where we were last time. Oh, that's right. We just got the Bahamut thing. Okay, so here's what I did at the end of the last video. I kind of just stopped and went to the menu. Not sure why I did that. Oh, that's right. It was like four in the morning when I was recording that. I was like, I was just ready to go to bed. I was I'll talk about this later. But when I was editing everything, so okay, we got the Bahamut thing. Let me go ahead and check that out. We got wings of light. So you're just charging up a mega flare, okay? It seems like it takes a very long time. But it looks promising. I don't know. It's going to be really tough for me to get rid of any of the other classes I currently have. What is this? Giga Flare. Oh my god. Look at that damage. So that's just like we use in the fight. Okay. Or that looks kind of like what we already did. Impulse. What does this one do? Looks like it's more stun than attack. Okay. This one's more attack than stun. Seems like there's a lot of charge up maneuvers on this. I do want to use this in this video, but whether or not I stick with it, I don't think I can give like this right here, the wind up. I'm going to reset this because I don't feel like it's worth it. I have it equipped still, but all this does when you upgrade it, it seems like, is make the red part of the bar, like the circle, just larger. That's it. And I don't really feel like I need that. Um, I'm wondering if this is kind of the same thing, you know? Get some points back. Let me upgrade and see if it did anything. It says upgraded. All right, we got twenty-one ninety-nine. How much do we need for this? So I really want to have this unlocked, but I'll keep everything the way it is. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this off and just try this. Oh, you know, here's what I'll take off. I'll take off this one because I've I've been kind of wanting to try something else besides this. So let's do that. And then when I can, I'll buy this Giga Flare. Okay, let's go ahead and equip it. I'm going to miss the tornado for a little bit. I may switch back, but I just really want to try this out. All right, I think we're good. Sorry for all the menu <laughs> at the beginning of the video. It's been about two days since I played. I've been recording a lot in like one go. Go speak with auto. Things fall apart. Let's go ahead and head up here. You know, when I return back to this game after playing other stuff that's like a smooth 60 FPS or even like other games that are like 240, you know? I'm not sure if I have it on performance or like graphics quality type mode, but I think it is on performance. Should be fine. Otto, how fair is the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fat storms at Mother Crystals and the skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the Free Cities, helping Mid with her project. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme into those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. Our reporting back to Vivian now. Here we go. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? 
I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. And yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Iron Heyar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. Castle of Sand. Hmm. Seems like after every major event in this game, we always come back to the hideaway and talk to everybody, kind of get the rundown, and then we uh, head back out on like the next journey. <laughs> Which is kind of cool the way the game is broken up because I, I take a lot of breaks when I record stuff. Like more than you actually know. Hear about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. 
I'll go back and speak to Otto again. Let's get it. Definitely going to check out the vendor. I've watched a few reviews about this game, and I've kind of got the same thoughts as everyone else. I like to share everything until the end, but I'll give you kind of a brief thing, and that's just that, like, it's everything I wanted in a Final Fantasy game. I know it's not the traditional turn-based, but I just think it's such an epic experience, you know? Clive, we have a problem. Only one. That would be a first. It would. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cash at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalimil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains... It fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means... There's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. Alright, progress on certain quests is temporarily limited. Okay. So going to all these different dilemmas. Okay, so we're not going to go to the main map. Let me go back to the... Uh, go to the blacksmith really quick. And just see if I can craft anything. And then I'll go to the shop as well before I leave. Make sure I'm good on potions everything else. And then we're going to head out of here. All right, here we go. So what do I owe the honor? Uh, let's go ahead and use a forge here. Let's see. So, what it be? There it is. Man, that's nice. 270. I'm at, well, I'm at 265. It'll last you a good while. I can't reinforce anything. Let me go and see if I can craft anything else. Everything else looks like it's fine. Well, that's higher, but you lose out on 20 HP, which I don't like. Reinforce, maybe? I need Desert Rose. I need two more of those, which here's what's funny. I think I could have bought some, but I didn't do it. Anything else? I don't think the gear matters that much in this game. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. All right, so it's weird you can buy this stuff. It's like... You're playing the same game as me. It's like we're... You have to get some of these items to progress. I guess maybe these are here in case you sell those by accident. Like the crafting materials. That's what I'm thinking. It's one higher, but not really worth it. Um, alright. I think I'm good. Oh yeah, you can buy them here. But I don't have the other things, so it really doesn't matter. The fact that you can buy pretty much everything from these shops is wild. Uh, we're maxed out on everything here, which is good, except for... What is this? I've never even seen it. Hold on, what does this say? Upon KO, automatically restores all HP, fills limit gauge. Really? Okay, that's... I have to buy one of those, right? <laughs> that's insane. 20,000 for like a second chance? Sign me up. Let's go to the main map now. Here we go. Should mark three different things. Let's see. I've heard some quests in this game are kind of... Let's go over here first. North Reach. Here we go. Some quests are kind of like busy work. Feel like side quests. Others, it's like you got the main event. It's like... The game's highs are really highs. That's what I was trying to say. We're going over here. Okay. So, which way am I... Why is it not... Put that over there. <laughs> it's like... Okay, turn around. Here we go. Can we cut through? Yeah, we can. Okay. Just want to make sure. But it's like there'll be a lot of slow moments, but then once the action starts and like the boss fights or battles hit, I mean the orchestra, the music kicks in. It's so well done. I think we're... Oh, I could have cut back there. Let's just cut through here. Probably gonna be a pretty chill video. I don't expect anything crazy right, to happen right now. We'll see. My lord, my lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures. I understand. With the blue eyes, yes, like a kashik, but different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. 
Akashic, but different. <sighs> Ultimus Thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. All right, why we fight? A quest within a quest. <laughs> it's like Inception. Uh, I can pro let's just go this way. We could leave. I think we're, yeah, we're, we're going to cut through here. All right. Here we go. This is a pretty open area. I don't think I've explored Madame, this too please. much. Here we go. Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall, because they are my charges, and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered, or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here. It's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly, and sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort, but I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Ahem. <clears throat> what we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. All right, speak with the wounded. We got two. Okay. So it's like one giant quest with a bunch of smaller quests within it. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so... I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing... Things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I... I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. My family. It's all right. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I. They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then... Then they were just... gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. But we just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. All right, since that's so far away, what I'm about to be doing is some serious... Wait, we can't fast travel. Never mind. We get to check about though. So we're no chilling. We Lion-hearted legionnaire. I think we can go full Those sprint once we leave here. Look at this area. We've been here once, I believe, but it's been a while. You know, we haven't... Here's what I was kind of thinking, right? Good God. Think about all the icons we've gotten. Faster. There's two spots left. If I had to take a guess, I don't know if Odin's going to be one. I mean, that was such a brief cutscene early on in the game, and we haven't really seen much about Odin since, so I don't know.
I'm not sure who else we're gonna like get the icon from because it's like I'm not really sure. I know Jill has like the Well, I don't know. I don't think we'd get hers unless something happens, but hopefully not. We'll see. Slay the enemies. Alright, let's I test this out. With me. Wait, did I not equip it? Oh no, I did. Wings of light. Yo, this does a lot of damage. What the world? They get caught up in it too. Look at that. Let's just try this out. This does like a long time. So you can dodge in it. You can't really do anything else. You're kind of just waiting. All right, here it goes. Wait, you can go all the way to two? What does two do? I want to see what happens if you get attacked. Do I get knocked out of it? All right, two's max. Here we go. All right, impulse. Save your strength. Not sure how I feel about this class. I mean, it's like each one I like one or two of the things. Like this, I just cannot get rid of it. It's so nice. Look at that. Fire this is the only class. I, I keep calling it class. It's only like the icon that I really, really like. Everything about it. More enemies. Uh oh. Yeah, okay, the only thing about this is I was wondering what happens if they're, like, unable to be staggered, you know? It's a little bit different. I think I still prefer the tornado right now. That thing just does so much stagger gauge. It's insane. You're kind of left vulnerable a little bit. Very nice. It's going to take some getting used to. I'm going to alternate. I'll be using it for a little bit, but I think I'll probably go back to... Probably the wind stuff for a little bit. Do you think there are more? There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts, for now at least. <laughs> Hearing that the Dane would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. Ah, it's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit, but whatever it takes, eh? Now me. I never needed to convince him. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love 
include the one standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. That was a short quest, what in the world? Why we fight? You get all that for that? I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain. All right, let's see, meteorite. We got some more ash, let's go, baby. Mostly crafting materials. All right, I think we now just leave the area. I'm curious how many more, uh... so we just pick the other ones. Okay, let me go to my abilities really quick. How much do I need for this? Oh, I have enough to get it. Let's go ahead and buy this. Let's go, baby. And now we'll actually change out. Impulse kind of seems, does continuous damage, which is nice. I don't know which one I like. This one kind of leaves you open, which on paper, it's nice. It was doing a lot of damage, but I don't like that against larger enemies, it's kind of useless. You know what? Yeah, I'll do that. Because I think I have triangle for the major ones on each of these, so I'll, ch I'll change this one out. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stay with these three for now. I don't want to change too much. Let's go to the map. World map, and then we're going to go left, I think. Yep. Martha's Rest. We've been here several times. It's been a while, though. Oh. This man's gonna die if we don't get him for a healer. Martha. It's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said he'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. All right, the flames of war. Nice. As it shows a fire. Too far. <laughs> I think there are as many as Martha says. I'm actually happy at quests is like this for a little bit. We can just kind of chill out, try out the Bahamut class. Kind of get our bearings about us, because it's been a couple days since i played, I feel like. I've seen people post on Twitter that like level 90 something and they have everything maxed out. And I'm like, eventually that'll be me, but probably not until 2024. <laughs> Alright, here it goes. Wait, can I, hold on, I'm just curious about something. Can I charge this out of combat? No, I can't, okay. Wounded. We deal with the Akashic first. I want to try this out now. Here we go. Big damage. I missed like the rest of them though. It was kind of odd. My favorite games I've played this year, and obviously I think maybe even the last few years. I think one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had is Elden Ring. But I think if I had to go back like a couple years, this is probably in my top ten favorite games I've actually recorded. You know, what's the range on this? I'm curious. What's damage over time? Let's see. How much damage does it actually do? 
it's nice that it kind of keeps them busy as well. Voice acting though. Ah. Alright, let's see what we got. 300 XP. We're getting a lot more XP now than we did early on for sure. These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place. You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wadesmen? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? Sir Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you in on. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Mother! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. All right, descend the lift. Here we go. Should I check this out? What are you after? It's the same thing as normal. You know what I haven't sold? Hold on, let me just see something really quick. Uh, all right. Me that. Where's it at? Here it is. You get 200 for that? I've been holding on to these like all game. And it doesn't even really give you anything. I'd rather just keep the... Uh, if I really need the gill, then I'll sell stuff. But right now, I really don't need it. Because you can craft pretty much everything. It doesn't cost anything. My dogs. Sometimes an accessory will pop up you can buy. But other than that, I mean... You can get free potions just from dying. <laughs> Alright, quest destination nearby. Here we go. Squire, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you! Damn it! We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty. All right, got Wade with us. Let's get this. Go ahead and shoot this to keep him busy. There we go. Fighter! Oh my goodness! Swift recovery. How you doing? He's gonna do a lot of damage. I feel like. Or not. <laughs> Doesn't quite do as much as I was hoping. That's funny. The recharge on that is 
insane. What in the world? It's like I just got it. Or just used it, then I got it back immediately almost. I did it too soon. <laughs> it's like I can't do any damage there. That's funny. Uh, let me just go over here. Hold on. Change the scene really quick. Fight the same enemies forever. Big damage. Kind of. There we go. I, I guess I keep thinking about that tornado and how much stagger gauge it does. Oh, I got everybody. Wow. By the way, I got the same amount of XP for doing, like, nothing earlier. All right, we're good. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> You've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down East Pool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde? Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. Now right, we're going back up. Let's get it, baby. I had a feeling this episode was just gonna be chill, you know? Wait, is that too far on the other side? Hold on, let's see. Yeah, that's the right way. I could have fast traveled, but that would have just been petty, I feel like. You know, originally my goal was to have this game done just before July ends. That's kind of like my overall goal right now with it. I was taking my time with it, but also I'm just being kind of... Just taking it easy. Spending time with my family. Because I know that this fall is going to be nuts. Like, I got... Literally, I think September and October, I'm not leaving my house. <laughs> Yeah, I've had so much fun this year just with, like, all the different games. It's been a great year. Some years, it's like, there's not a lot, you know? Like, where'd they come from? Uh-oh. <laughs> see if I can just go ahead and take care of business. We have to slow I really down. can't tell if it Not does that much damage compared to some of the other stuff. For it to be, like, the main ability... Oh, this is gonna cook everyone, I feel like. Everybody around me. My goodness. That did so much. I thought we were fighting Chuck Bowles. Like, they're just kinda chilling. Whatever. If the game wants me to fight him, I'll do it. Go and collect this potion, maybe? No, I can't. Try to block it. <laughs> I don't know why. I think I see the fire and I'm like, oh, I can just teleport using the Phoenix shift. And I'm like, oh, wait, I gotta go back to the other icon really quick. So. I'm gonna do some research and see if actually upgrading the uh, abilities and stuff increases. I have a feeling it's kind of like God of War where if you increase different abilities, it's overall gonna make the damage better. You know? Like, maybe not initially, but over time, I think. Like the second upgrade, maybe it does. That was a quick transition. Wait, there's more. Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, so wait. Shall we? 
Like phase two. This should hit everybody. Oh, come on. I like how I've dodged like everything except that last part. Okay. There we go. Big damage. Okay. Enemies that teleport are rough. <laughs> Struggling over here. There we go. You know what? I'll just do this. That's fine. You want to teleport and fly around under the same thing. All right, here goes. I'll say, is it connecting? One, two, and then... That's so sick. That does so much damage. GG's. Enemy slain. 350 this time. Nice. Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A well, damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back. But when? And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. All right, another quest now. Let's get it. The Flames of War. Uh, 500 XP for the total thing. Nice. What is this? Displayed in Clive's Chambers. Okay. That's the first time I've seen anything of that rarity. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, Sir Wade. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I am a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one aspiring to take his oaths. 
My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. N n not that so Wade and the other guardians are... I mean to say that, uh, the... It's all right. We know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire... Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. All right, we got one last stop. Here we go. This is going to be a nice one, I feel like. I like this area a lot because of the vibrant colors. All right, here we go. Where are we going? Oh, right here. How convenient. Sid. Your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? Ah, uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. Now, I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Down the rabbit hole. Here we go. Suppose we just follow the shouting. The final sting. Uh oh. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandits' ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid. And Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, 
I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnes. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. All right, we've already spoken to Victor. Let's go ahead and head back here. See what we got. So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake... He'd let them choose for themselves, and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other? When all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry. Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along? What he means to say is yes. like this uh this part of the last hour or so has been kind of like me running a few feet talking to somebody kind of over and over but at least it's kind of a nice chill mission before it gets crazy again here we go ah here she is the lady of the spear herself conrad may i introduce you to jane Commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no, that there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. <laughs> if it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad, are you saying that Dalamul's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady.
Why does it feel like really dark right here? I guess it's the- yeah, it got cloudy. Alright. Here we go. Oh, I'm ruined. My shop. I'm going to probably wind up playing this game for a very long time. Not really on my channel, but like personally, after I finish it, I'm going to kind of do all the side stuff. I want to level up to 100 as well. Let's see what it feels like. Ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill. At your service. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the capital's stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine. Driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Mommy. I think Jill might be one of my all-time favorite Final Fantasy characters. I don't know why. She's just awesome. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert. In a move, doubtless, intended to stretch our already gossamer-thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Mistakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. Uh, let's start going back here. Protect the North Gate from bandits. All right. Get some combat ready. Here we go. 
How y'all doing? The range oh, is insane. Go ahead and use both of them. Ugh. Definitely gonna be like two or three waves of enemies here, I feel like. Ooh, big damage. They mean to overwhelm us. This is gonna hurt. Hey, I want to say thank you all for joining me on this series. I know it's probably one of the longer games I've covered in recent years. Actually, I don't know. Was God or Ragnarok this one? I can't remember. Like I'm like camping the entrance where they arrive at. Oh, come on. Very nice. Almost halfway in the stagger. Here we go. Smoke screen. Hold on. Poison mist. Woo! I didn't think it was actually gonna connect. Interesting. damage over time. Not a lot, but also... There we go. Nice. I'm gonna guess 500 XP for that. Maybe 400, actually. 800? What in the world? The townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. Natalie, I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Come now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I'll take that as a compliment. All right, quest complete. I wonder if this counts towards like the main mission list. What are we going to get for this? Sharp Fang, Still Silk, and Bloody Hide, all right? I guess now we go back to the hideaway again, right? Our friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind to rest. Where did you learn to swing us? It's gonna pop up. There it goes. All right, here we go. I want to interact with everyone. I just know it's gonna be a lot of dialogue when I do. 
But I'll eventually do all the side stuff in the game, just after I finish it, most likely. Oh, before we do this, though, hold on. We got something new here. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Let's see what Your we can unlock. Is a regenerous lot. Dire Wolf Jess, hold on. You earned this. What is this one? Oh, you did. Oh, you get eight hundred ability points. No way. Ava. Oh my goodness. What's the next one? Oh, you get the purple one for that. I'm a guess. Okay, if that's the High Cleric's Medallion, I think that's. Come again. Currently, Come hold on. What do I have equipped? You have this at plus one. It's at forty percent. So I'm wondering if it's gonna be like a sixty percent. That would be nice. What does this one do? Combo damage by 5%. See, while that's nice, it's crazy I've had the Badge of Might on the entire game. Attack by 7? I don't know. I'd rather just have that passive 7, you know? Have more for ya. We also can go here, but I'll do that later on. Was wondering when you turn up. Hello, from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Right. Clive, we knew this was gonna happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. So it was not Sylvester, but. Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet, and when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid, despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you. Even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit, but they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. 
I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you? With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> Joshua. <coughs> Clive, it's Gav. <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <laughs> well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all tired, told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Mm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian. What's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But, thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. After him. It's cool that Josh was like part of the thing now. You know, like he wasn't here for the longest time. We even didn't know if he was alive, and now here he is. All right, travel. Oh, where's this? I love how when the main story pops up, <laughs> every place is cut off completely. All right, let me go to the. Uh, Blacksmith one more time. I did get some stuff, but not a lot. Let me just see if I can actually craft anything. Also, I'll check out the uh, shop as well before we roll up. I don't see no icon shows like it's something new. I guess that means there's nothing there. It's the same stuff as before, I'm assuming. Coin purse weighing you down. A little quick scan. It looks like we're good. Uh, potions, I'll go ahead and buy... Two of those. Cannot find a better price. One of these. That. Everything else is no. topped off. All right, we're good to go. Oh, that's the music thing. Seems I'm good. <laughs> as much as I would love to interact with that, I just know it's probably a copyright strike waiting to happen. Here we go.